Hey guys, it's Mei Mei and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. How is everyone today? You guys come on in and start chatting with us. And let's see everybody. I'm not getting anything on the YouTube side yet. I need to probably give it a second. I think we got a little glitch going on. Maybe not. Now I'm seeing something. All right. Hello, everyone. Let's see if you can see and hear us. We're, we're trying out a new camera. Y'all, don't y'all get tired of us trying new stuff on y'all? <laughs> new camera, always new what mic setup. Uh, that's my phone. You're doing it with your phone? Yeah, we, Jordan, not say we. I came in and said, Jordan, I want, and he said, let me go figure it out. <laughs> now, Jordan, I have Facebook comments coming in, but I have no YouTube comments that I can see. So you may have to sign into YouTube and watch it that way. Um, we are a little, we're two minutes early because we wanted to get in here and see how things were going. I think us using the phone camera is going to give you guys a better view. And I wanted to be able to like hold things up for you guys to be able to see it because my webcam doesn't let me do that. It's kind of annoying. So we're really excited. How's that volume sounding, Jordan? Okay. Um, <laughs> guinea pigs. <laughs> well, I think, I guess the system is the guinea pig. We try it all the time. We're always trying something new. So here's what we wanted to do today. I, I thought since I showed you guys the stamp set yesterday and I showed you what it would do, I thought it might be fun today for me to actually do it. Um, so you could see how it works since I didn't do that in the video because it would have taken forever to do four of these guys uh, in that one little video. So I thought we'd have fun and we'd play around with it. So I want to start by showing you how to do this one. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the club set went out yesterday, okay? And it is called Sitting Tree, just like that. Sitting Tree, not Sitting Tree. Do we say Sitting Tree, Vince? No. What do we sitting. say? It's a Sitting Tree. And it's interesting, you Christopher guys... Christopher says hello. Hey, Christopher. Um, you guys may think it's kind of funny that we would say Sitting Tree and we would have a Sitting Tree, but some people actually do have a favorite tree they like to sit under with a park bench or a swing or something like that. And so that's where this set came from. And also all the fun little sayings that we felt were cute because they were kind of like um, Southern. Like um, this one right here, sitting, thinking, and grinning, thinking about you, never get tired of thinking of you. I just love the sayings. I thought they were cute. And I have to tell y'all, y'all would have cracked up if you'd have seen the notes that our proofreader sent back. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine what they had to say. They about were that. so funny because we have a company that does our proofreading. And so we send it off to them. And when they send it back, they give us notes. And they were like, Hmm, it was a little bit hard for them to do, but it was hilarious. So that's the set we're going to look at today. Now, the cool thing about the set is the way Mandy set it up. I went to Mandy and said, here's what I want. I don't have a tree in my May May collection. We didn't have a tree and I want one. And I wanted one that could work for four seasons. And I wanted one that you guys could make be a full tree without having to stamp every little flower. Because if you're like me, you struggle getting this a really pretty look having to do one flower at a time. So here's the tree itself. Um, which one do I want to use? I think I want to use pine cone for my brown today. So I'm going to use um, Versa, Versafine Claire pine cone today. And I'm going to ink up the tree. Now, it's a little bit wider than my block, This um, the tree is, and the press I'm using. There is another press. This will fit on another Fisker's press that I could be using. But to be honest, it's walked out of my room. I don't know where it is. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. This worked fine. I stamped all of those with this too. I'm just going to stamp this down here like this. Let me straighten it. It's a press so I can move it around. And then I'm just going to press it into place like so. And if I make sure to press these sides, all those branches get pressed as well. All right, so we'll lift that up, and there's our tree. And look, I left ink on my block. Do you see it? Because I did not stamp it correctly. So I kind of like that. It looks like a score hole. I'm leaving it. It does. Look at it. Can You, you can't see from over there. Look. Looks like a hole in a tree, like, you know? Oh, yeah. I like it. I'm leaving it. So there you go. Uh, happy accident. Let me show y'all something real quick. I was just talking to Christopher about this. I'm super excited, and I want to show y'all. So... Squeaky Clean has a new formulation, and I'm loving it. We got these in this week, early this week. Yep. And I was a little nervous because I'm like, oh, it's different. Why is it different? And Christopher has told me, and I'm so excited about this, it is now all natural. I love that because I use this all over my work surfaces and everything. Yeah, you do. So I love that it's all natural. And you guys, it smells so good now. It has, it has this natural soapy scent to it. Like, love it. So... If I were going to clean, I don't need to clean this right now because I'm going to use this over and over again. If I were going to clean, I would use my squeaky clean. But I do want to show y'all something. Watch how well this, I just want to show you this. Look how it sprays. 
straight instead of remember how the old squeaky clean kind of sprayed in a big circle this one i feel like i use less because i get it in a definite spot at, it's anyway i wanted to show you all that i'm Squirt in love it over there on the this. side where you help where it hadn't already washed off some so they can see what you're actually doing what do you mean this what do you mean yeah but well because where you spread on the other side it's already been you already got a hole there well, you can't really tell. This is where I scrub, and this is where I scrub off. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that's why it didn't look like Never that. Mind. Anyway, love the new formulation. Thank you, Christopher, for making it all natural. And I just wanted to tell you guys, it it smells like a light lavender smell. It smells delicious. We love it. All right, so I would clean this, but I'm not because we're going to be stamping it a whole bunch of times. So back to the tree. Now, here's the... Oh, by the way, that's in the store. We have it in like two or three si two sizes. It comes in a two ounce and then in a four ounce refill bottle. Excellent. All right. I am going to take two stamps. This is the little flower stamp from the set. I'll show you which one it is. It's this one right here. And I'm also going to take that little flower right there. And I'm going to load those on my block. So I have two little blocks with the little flowers on it. Okay. Then I'm going to dig into, I've given some of my colors away. Let's do it yellow today. I don't do yellow oh. ever. Not this color. I never do yellow. Let's do cheerful. Why not? Let's be cheerful. You might as well. Might as well be cheerful. All right, so we'll do yellow. And did I clean this one last time? Uh, let's just do it. I'm not sure I did. I can see a little pink on there. So since I've already sprayed some squeaky clean. And look, now it does this little, like, sudsiness. Oh, it smells good. I like it. Oh, I forgot I sprayed some over there, too. Let me come over here. All right, so we got that good and clean, and I kind of do a little... Oh, y'all probably mad at me because I'm not supposed to touch myself with stuff like that. I hear you. So I'll put it on a rag and get some of the moisture off. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp this cluster of flowers in yellow, okay? And anywhere I want to, I just stamp them down, kind of nestling around the little branches. Do I need to zoom in? Now, this stamp set is the stamp set of the month, correct? Yes, it is. And yeah. it just released yesterday. Yes. So it is a new stamp set. If you're in the regular club, this is already in the mail to you. They went out yesterday. Uh, if you're not in the club, they're available in the store for you to purchase. Look at this, guys. You just kind of nestle the little... It's just automatic. It just happens. She did such a good job with this. I just can go basically anywhere beside the little branches and just stamp. And look how it fills up the tree. It's so good. I'm so happy about it because... I've had tree builder stamps before, and I've had to kind of stamp the leaves myself individually, and that was a little hard for me to do. Like, I'm not real good at that. Now, those blocks you're this. using, those are the Fisker blocks, right? Yes, they're my fave. I find myself they reaching for them all the time. I really honestly, so there's a couple of things that's happened to me lately. So, you know how I say don't reinvent the wheel? And I think, well, it's just an acrylic block. You think that, but it's just not. This is kind of reinventing it, and I really like it. Because see how I can hold it? I like it. Am I too close? Are you guys, am I too, um, too zoomed in? All right, so I'm going to leave that a little airy for a second. Here's why. Let me move this off to the side. So see how I've got some airy little pockets? Now I'm going to take this one little flower, and I'm just going to fill in those little pockets to get a full, like, flowing tree full of flowers. The idea behind this one, if you do it in the pink, is so it kind of looks like a Japanese cherry blossom, sort of. And know? that's what somebody just got through saying a few minutes oh. ago, that the pink looked like cherry blossom. That was the point. We wanted it to kind of look like, but look how easy it is to get that full tree. I, I'm telling you, if you're a stamper, you know how cool this is. You just know, because it's hard to place everything around a tree like nature would do it, but this does it for you. So let me clean this yellow. Oh, I keep forgetting I sprayed on both ends. All right, let me clean my other one because I'm going to use these blocks. All right, now then we have to stamp a tire swing. Do we not? Oh, by all means. How are you going to get by with a tree like that? We were trying to make it southern. That's it. We were trying to make it southern. And we're like, besides your laundry, be southern. besides your laundry, what are you hanging a tree? You gotta hang an old tire. <laughs> an old tire. You have to. So that's where the tire came from. I love that. Besides and you hear your how laundry. I'm saying it. Do you hear your how laundry. I'm saying Besides your laundry. But do you hear how I'm saying bes we have to have a tire swing? Do you hear how I'm saying it? We don't it's say it like that. It's a tar. It's a tar. We do not say it swing. like that. You gotta have a tar swing. Ooh, I slung this. You gotta have a tar swing. This, guys, I'm using the finesse by Spectre Noir. I gotta no, be honest. I don't think we say tar. We don't. We but don't. I don't say tire. I say Not tar. tar. Tire, tire, tire. tire. That's it, it tire. tire. Yeah. I don't say tire. No. I say I'm tired. 
Yeah. Okay, look, this is the Finesse by Stretch Amore. I'm using the Noir Black, and I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of loving this ink. I used it the other day on the bunny card, and I'm loving how rich and black it looks. Mm. I'm really loving it. I gotta be that honest. That scares me. I know, because now we want every color. Well, no, not necessarily that, but that means, are you kicking Versifying? No, 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 no. To the curb there? No, 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 no. Let me clarify. No, 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 no. No, no, Let me clarify. Please clarify. Um, I am... It's a different... This is for alcohol. Purpose. Yes, this is for serves alcohol markers. Okay. I like it I already for that. feel better. Can you guys see the texture in that? I love this. Okay, this is done with my pigment ink, which we all know is super, super thick, right? This one I did with the dye ink, and look how the tire has some texture. I actually prefer the texture on the tire versus the solid circle. This is just me. All right. You need cute. to pause for just one moment. Okay. And you need to say, what's up, Kimberly Bender? What's up, Kimberly Bender? There you go. Did I just give a shout out? We just gave a cheap shout out. <laughs> but hey, this is what she said. Hey, May, May, May and Vinny, y'all are live. I never get to see y'all live. I wish I could watch the whole thing. I'm about to leave for work, but had to post quickly to say hi. Well, awesome i'm glad you posted so we said hi back if i knew where any of my supplies were we're getting ready for a cruise so things get pulled out of here what? things get pulled out i'm hey, going to show y'all this it's only a few days too it's a few days i'm going to we'll go through cruising. these flowers and i wouldn't use this black pen but you can go through to the centers and put little dots for the centers of the flowers i would probably do this with a gold or a silver pen because it wouldn't be so bold and obvious but when you look up close it's super cute, little flowers with dots in them. <laughs> Carol said, uh, Connie said, she used to kid her husband because he was the only person that she knew that could pronounce oil with three syllables. Earl. So I'm trying to figure out how he did it. O oil. Earl, that's how I say it. Earl. Earl. It's Earl. I think three syllables. Though. I know, but it, it's Earl. See if you can make it have three syllables. Oil. 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 Wait, oil. Oh, I can't do it. Oil. That's nah, it. Oil. I don't know how he did that, but. We just you say Earl. Just be joking, anyway. We just say Earl. Uh, Sherry wants to know how she can join the Stamp Club. You can head to my website. That's the way to do it. Head to maymaymadeit.com, and in the center of the web of the page on the red line, the red menu bar, you'll see "Join the Club." I think it says, or I bet whoever's doing YouTube will put a link for you. <laughs> Somebody just hollered at us from Denmark. Hi, Denmark. I bet their name's not Denmark. Well, it's not, but I'm not going to try to pronounce what they typed in there. Their name? Yeah, it's on Facebook, so you probably can't oh, see Oh, I'm it. not seeing Facebook. Uh, hey, Melody. What's up? Hey, Mel. Yay, all my friends are coming in today. All my rowdy friends are coming. Oh, <laughs> now that Melody's here, all our rowdy friends are here. That's, that's exactly right. The that wild golf cart here. riding rowdy woman. That's right, her and Christopher. <laughs> They're both rowdy. Oh, look, I'm still not getting that, and I told myself I was going to. I don't want to redo this, because you know it won't be right, but do we care, really? Let me press again. The good thing it is there. it's just paper. It's just paper. I just don't want to do it again. All right, press, Meme. See, I'm not over the top. I am from the side. That's better. I'm from the side, and so sometimes if you're stamping at home, you'll get straight over the top, and it'll be fine. What are we doing next? Let's do green leaves, and someone suggested something I want to try. So we're going to do something a little different. Let's pull my stamp set back over here so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put my flowers back just like so. If you guys are a stickler for how you put your stamp sets back, let me show you something. If you'll put your stamp face down on to your work surface and you'll take the backer to the stamp, if you're a stickler for putting them back just where they go, that's the way to do it. I'm not a stickler for it, but I thought you might want to see that. Um, okay. I just painted. My friend from Denmark. I just Denmark, painted. I couldn't find my leaf. There it is, my single leaf. Her name is spelled M-E, or his name is spelled M-E-T-T-E. But it's pronounced... Is it Meta? Meta. I was going to say, is it Meta like... M-E-D-D-A um, is how she said, and, and they said for us to give it a try, so... Meta, I like it. Now, the country accent may have twisted it up a little bit, but I'm going with Meta. So someone suggested on the video after we posted it that we try doing these ombre, like inking this ombre. So I'm going to try to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap a little green on the bottom of this stamp down here like this. And then I'm going to go to my next color green and go right above that. Actually, I got a little to one side when I dropped it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the light color in the middle. All right, so this let me give you guys a heads up on the Stamp Club because there's a lot of questions about Stamp Club. If you are a member 
of the stamp club prior to the first day of the month, then you get this set. If you join after the first day of the month or on the first or after, then your first set would be the following month. So in order to get this set as part of your club, you would have have to have been signed up by January the 31st. So if you haven't signed up yet, unfortunately, this one would not be available to you through the club. But if you go ahead and sign up, you will be given a 15% discount when you purchase this set. So um, that's one of the benefits of being a club member is you get 15% off on most items in the store. I like this ombre look. I'm making a right mess, but I like it. Uh, Polly is asking about Chalk Couture. Polly, I forwarded your email to Amanda, but she has not had a chance to get to it yet. She um, says she needs your Chalk Couture design number because she wants to join under you. Yeah, talk to Amanda before you sign up, and um, we're, we'll get to you today, but we have had... I'm not gonna. I'm not saying it again. We keep having mornings. She'll. Um, I forwarded that to her, and she will get to you. I promise. All right. I'm ombre in these. Y'all see how I'm doing it? I'm gonna try to do this one right with the darkest color and then the lightest color. You, I probably could just take the um, the stamp to the pad, and that would have been smarter. And I'm trying to overlap that just slightly. All right, and then stamping it around. This is really pretty to do it like that. Really pretty. Look at that. I love how the ombre looks. The other thing I want to show you, let's say you do want to play with your ink. Let's open these guys up like this. Let's say you do want to stamp um, one leaf at a time. You can. If you want to be like really specific with where your colors go, you can do that. So you can come in and use your single leaf. All my single leaves. All my single leaves. Sorry, I had to. You just couldn't help it, could you? <laughs> All right, if you want to join the Stamp Club, there is a link on the website that says Stamp Club, I'm pretty sure. Join the club. Join the club. You click on that, and there'll be some instructions you have to follow, and that'll get you done. What's up, G? Hey, Gareth. There's the last of the rowdy friends joining in. <laughs> Gareth, we just said all my rowdy friends were coming in today, so there you go. <laughs> now we've made this the whole circle, the whole gamut. That's right. Christopher, That's Melody, and G. All up in the house. That's awesome. All right, so you can do this with the single leaf if you want. Of course, I wouldn't. That's why we gave you the cluster. But there's that, okay? So not finished, but I wanted to show you that little tip, which I thought was great. Okay. Oh, that's a great idea. Trudy said you could do falling leaves. Yes, you can. That's another reason we gave you that single leaf. So you can do that. You can have falling leaves. You can have um, just a leaf here and there. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Let's look at doing it in the fall colors. So slide that away and we'll put the, let's bring the fall leaves out. Did you do anything particular to, Connie asked, why was the trunk on the tree with the yellow leaves shiny? Did you add anything to it? Oh or? no, it must have just been a camera glare because it's could've not really shiny. The, it's matte finished. Could have just been the look. Oh, I know what it is. It's because of that. That's where my ink didn't work. So it looks like it's got a little shine to it. That's where I didn't press my ink down hard enough. So yeah, it's just the same ink. I just didn't press it good. So it gives you the illusion of light. All right, then. I'm going to clean this off before I put it up. The biggest point of today was I wanted to make sure I showed you guys how to use the set because I didn't show it in the video. Um, oh, and I want to stamp this. I'll do that on the winter. We'll do that on winter. Okay, so I'm going to put my fall leaves on and get my single fall leaf. All my single fall leaves. All my single fall leaves. Only have one. That's bad. <laughs> Only have one single fall leaf. All right. And y'all, I know there's a lot of questions flying by, so I'm trying to catch all of them, but I might not. Put them in it. caps. Put your questions uh, in caps. Judy says, I have best buds in my wish list. Will it ever come back in? Best buds. I'm not sure what best buds is. Is that a stamp I think set? that's a Joy Claire set. Oh. I think it is. We try to bring it all back in. Not... And let, if it, well, some things were taken out. Some things were getting rid of. It's just the time of year. It's just the time where you start dialing some stuff back. Well, because we want to add new stuff. Yeah. All the new stuff's starting to drop. Matter of fact, I've got one, two, I have three, technically three. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Two new products to show in Crafter After Show. There we go. I pressed really hard and got it right. 
Okay, now then, here's what I did for my fall leaves. Let me add the green back. These are the colors I use. Shady Lane, Monarch, a corn. And summertime. I'm just not even commenting. <laughs> <It's summertime>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to zoom you out just a little. Chinese yellow acre. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Now then, I'm going to go over here to the orange first, just because I like the orange. You don't have to do the orange first. You can do any of them first. And all you do, tap in, nestle a branch. I mean, you just don't even have to try. Nestle a branch. Did you foil any of those trees that you had out to start with? Nope. Nestle a branch. Okay. You, sh you could. I mean, um, could you? Well, when they... Never mind. I don't want to go <laughs> One day you can. Okay, so there's the orange. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? And then do this. Do this. Go to the next Kella. Nah. And then you just nestle a branch. <laughs> well, hey, snowy Oklahoma. Snowy. When y'all stamp this at home, I, I expect you to be saying, nestle a branch. Hey, Dawn, if you've been enjoying Vinny's Vittles, this is the one coming up to this Saturday. It's a winner. They had it for lunch today. It was and a winner. Everyone went crazy over it. And it's super simple. Super simple. Look, it's so easy. This is so easy. So easy. Um, let's see, let's see. Put this lid back on. Go to the people, which is called Monarch. Monarch. Let's see. Follies for summer. Somebody said you could use the follies for summer. Mm. Let me show you what these shapes are up close. They're like actual fall leaves. But I mean, if if it floats your boat, do it. That's how I feel about everything, right? You do you. And then you just nestle. Just nestle something. Find a spot, nestle it in. And what changes it is in just a minute when we go back with the single leaf. When y'all stamp, y'all gonna be singing it too. All my single leaves. Oh, here it is. Oh, I need to do one more color. One more color. I'm putting these out of the way. Uh, Nikki, the substance she's using to clean the stamps is called Squeaky Clean from Brutus Monroe. It's available in our store. Oh, at something. www.mamamedit.com. I forgot to say something. Christopher said because this is all natural now, if it sits on your desk and it separates, you just need to shake it and it should have that cloudy look to it, that cloudy finish. So, you didn't go shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake, shake your squeaky, squeaky clean. clean. Shake, shake your squeaky, squeaky clean. clean. That's free, Christopher. That's just from us to you. <laughs> yeah, you might want to put that in as a tagline, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You get that one for free, bud. Okay. <laughs> Connie said, it in the fall leaf, the same as a summer leaf, but it's just changing color. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to go yes with that, Connie, because I always thought leaves were leaves. So, you know, anyway. I, it's just a thing. We all assume this leaf is only around at this time of year. I don't know. Why would you assume that a leaf is only around in the fall? Because I only see. Look, another thing I'm going to do. I can take this and just stamp a portion, just kind of touch like that, if you want to, you can do that. Now, Charlotte said you should have added an acorn to this set. <laughs> Maybe we need a, an a, a accessory set. Okay, so see, here's what changes it. You come back with all your colors, and you mix them around. So where you don't have brown, you add brown. See that? That's what makes it work. It's by bringing all of those together. Now, we're not pointing hairs or, you know, none of that kind of stuff. But Amanda said, how did you say monarch? Monarch. Mm -hmm. How do you say monarch? Well, I say it just like that, but uh, Amanda apparently heard you say something different. Nope, monarch. That's it. Um, so see, I'm just going to take this color and see there's no orange right there. Put some orange in there. Trudy Christopher was commenting on Facebook, so I don't know if he's on the YouTube or not. He's so. probably. So that's how you do it, and you make it look like one cohesive tree. I love it. My tree. Where's that from? Where is that from? My tree. Christmas it's Christmas. Vacation. Yeah, Christmas vacation. My tree. That's right. I'm sorry. Took me a second. When the uncle burns up the tree. Yeah. 
So that's how you do this. I love this. I think it makes life so easy. And you get the look of a full colored tree. So easy. So easy. Ombre or ombre is actually pronounced ombre. I've never heard it pronounced ombre. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. So, Matter of fact, I used to play golf at a club that was named that, and they called it the ombre. The ombre, yeah. This is your fall. Let's do winter, which, oh, yeah, which is my favorite, because I love how it looks. Ready for this? This is so easy. Uh, where'd the tree go? My tree. Can you tell Trudy how she can watch <laughs> on Facebook? Because I'm not, uh, um, I guess you can just watch, right? You go like our page, May May Made It, on Facebook. And we go live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Now, we somebody wants to know what Vinny's Vittles is, so I'm going to let you call it out what Vinny's Vittles is. You want me is. to say, oh, what Vinny's Vittles, the channel is? Yeah, I guess. Um, I thought you meant what you're having Saturday, because I can tell that too, but I'm not. I don't care if you tell me. Um, Vinny's Vittles is Vince's cooking channel, where he does just, like, he's not a chef. He does home cooking meals. He does recipes for you guys. We test them. The boys test them. So if y'all want to know if your boys will like something, our boys will let you know in a second. Um, but it's his little cooking channel. It's not little anymore. You have over 5,000 subscribers. It's still little, though. And he cooks every Saturday morning for the most part at 11 a.m. Sometimes we miss some Saturdays, but we try to let y'all know. Okay, right. winter tree is this, simply this, okay? Now, I know you would not stamp this in on the winter tree, but I want to show you this. This is our little hummingbirds. And we wanted something southern. That was the reason we added hummingbirds, okay? So I want to show you how I did this in two colors. All right. Have you got time for me to ask Meta's question? Yes. Meta says, I have a question. I'm new at this game, but I want to learn. I'm practicing a lot like stamping, coloring, cutting dies, embossing. It's so fun. I wanted to see if I can emboss a piece of paper, not normal piece of paper, after that, I wanted to mm, use a die circle. I thought it was a great idea, but my Gemini totally flattened out my embossing. Yeah, you can't you can't run lifted embossing through twice because it will flatten it when you're doing a die cutting. Yep. But she said, so she, that didn't work, so she reversed it. So I did it the other way around. She said, first dies and then emboss, but I kind of dragged the card a bit. Any suggestions to do it better? What you did, die it, then emboss it. But I don't know what drag the card a, minute, a bit meant. Look, guys, my purple tape is missing, and I think it's in there because we're using it to get ready for um, the cruise. So I've used some just painter's tape, which I always used to use, and I'm taping off the hummingbirds, okay? But I'm going to ink the feeder in the red and then I'm going to remove this tape so I've inked my feeder in red okay and put that aside so You're I don't getting all it. kind of suggestions for accessories for this set then I'm going to do purple because I've got it sitting here then I just took my purple ink and I just inked up those birds and you could even do it this way so you can actually see what you're doing uh Trudy I don't think there's any difference between watching it on YouTube or watching it on Facebook it's the exact same thing. We're just streaming it in both places. So if you're comfortable with YouTube, I wouldn't sweat it. I'd just stay there. And that is how I got my red bird feeder. I should have huffed this. Y'all know what huffing this is? Like once you ink this up and you let it sit for a second, you should go before you ink it, you should do this on your stamp. You should blow hot air on your stamp from your mouth. That re-wets the ink so you don't get the spotly, but I don't care. It's cute. So that's how I did the two-tone for those. Super cute. Can I ask y'all a question? So, I don't like to do these kinds of videos because, not this kind, the kind I'm going to ask you about. I want your opinion. I don't like to do these kind of videos because a lot of times I get the comments that I'm just trying to sell product when I do this kind of video. And that's not why I do my channel. So, I don't want to, like, get that comment or get that feeling out there. But, I've had about 20 people in the past month message and email me asking me, for beginner stamping tools. Like they want to know how to start in stamping, what they should get. And I would like to do that for Saturday's video because I'd like to answer that question. And if 20 people are asking me, then there's probably 20,000 that want to know. 
but I want to know that all my folks would not be upset with me <laughs> if I did it. Because as you know, most of the tools I use, I also sell because I like them. So it would look like a video where I'm trying to sell product, but that's not the case. I really want to answer this question. So tell me what you think in the comments. All right, so that I know the hummingbirds and winter don't go together, but I wanted to show you how to stamp the hummingbird. Now I want to show you how I made it a snowy tree. I used the snow rider, which I love. Y'all know I love it. And I turned the tree upside down toward me. And this way, I'm going to take my snow rider and wherever the little nook. See, I don't know snow very well. We don't get a lot of it. Don't know a lot of it, right? So what I did was this way. Let me get my snow rider working. It kind of is down at the bottom there. This way, what I'm doing is in those little hooks right here, I'm going to nestle the snow like it landed there. Um, hang on a second. A lot of folks said yes, they do need that. Um, for those of you watching on Facebook or YouTube, if you have suggestions for stamp sets, please send those to Mandy at MayMayMadeIt.com. That's Mandy, M-A-N-D-Y, at MayMayMadeIt.com. And we will take those suggestions and see what we show think. Will. We show will. We show will. Okay. So, again, to the little nestle hooks. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Where the branches meet. And I wanted to kind of puddle it and then pull it. So, I puddled it a little bit. And then I just drug it out a little bit. And snow's pretty forgiving because you really don't know. You can't predict where snow's going to puddle or stay. I mean, unless you have some really, like, you know, benches or tables or whatever. If you have that kind of thing, yes, you're going to see that. Then definitely any of the branches that I felt like the snow would go straight to, I hit that with snow as well. Again, I said that I didn't know snow very well, and a lot of people told me I did okay. One thing to remember, which I had to tell myself was, you know, trees are not flat in nature. So just because it looks flat here, that doesn't mean that this is a cross section of a tree. These branches are, you know, three-dimensional. So even though you're thinking, well, this branch is under this branch, it wouldn't get snow. It really would because it's not flat. It's actually dimensional, if that makes sense. I think it makes sense. But in that hook right there, I would put more. So you see how I kind of gathered it up there? I'm going to gather some here. And everyone, everybody that I showed the stamp set to said the winter tree was their favorite. But we can't do snow all year. we got to have all of our trees. you got a few questions about the cruise. Okay. So just kind of give them a lowdown. The cruise is, um, I don't know anything to tell them. I'm so bad. It's about to start. Yeah, the cruise is the end of this month, right? The last week of this month. The last week of February, that's correct. And um, I think, I know classes are full. I mean, there might be one or two spots in a class, but you could still go on the cruise. You just And you could still participate in the sail away and the, uh, and the till we meet again party, but the classes are going to be full. A lot of people really love the idea of you doing the stuff for stamping because there are a lot of newbies that watch. I, you know what I think it is? I think a lot of people have decided this is their New Year kind of thing, their craft for this year. And um, I think that's what it is. I've had so many people contact me. And I think card making may be making a resurgence. I'm not sure about that. Don't forget the top of the bird feeder. Oh, yeah. Smart. Because I would have forgot. That was from Connie. How about on some of the birds? Notice that. It wouldn't be on the birds because they're too fast. They're flying. They're too fast. All right. Naoka wants to know how long does it take for the snow rider to dry? Maybe wants to know where the heck Naoka's been. (laughs) I haven't heard her name in so long. I'm so glad she's here. Um, It probably took yesterday mm, 15 or 20 minutes. It doesn't take long to dry. Uh, Let me show it to you dry. Hold on. Let me find it. it. Cheryl said... The wind blows snow in different direction. It often is stuck to the bark on the side of the tree also. Well, I did that here. See, good. I didn't really. Okay. So this is the one I did yesterday, and I really love how this one turned out, and I love it on the on the um, tire swing. Isn't that cute? And I did it on the purple. So I didn't do this yesterday. I did this the other day before when I filmed the reveal, but I wanted y'all to be able to see it kind of on the purple paper so you could actually see what it looks like. Because see here, you don't really see it unless I bring it up like this, and then you can see where it's at. This is actually the second May May Made It Cruise. Uh, so we will be doing another one, I'm sure. I will tell you this. I'm going to make this commitment to myself. I will not be doing another seven-day cruise. I, we just don't. It's just too much. We will do another one. But all the other ones will be four or five days. Seven days are just too long for all of us to be gone. So It's tough to be gone from the shop for that long and to be away from our family for that yeah. long and all of that because... Uh, 
the boys are in school, so they won't be able to attend this one. So it makes it a little tough on us. So just so you know ahead of time, we won't be doing another seven-dayer. I just want to let y'all know that. All right, check that out. It's beautiful. I love it. So I'm going to put this one aside because if I don't, I'll inevitably put something in it. But let me bring these back over and show you. So that's how you use the set. I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys how to use the stamp set um, because, oh, I didn't show you this. Do y'all want to see that real quick? If you don't, we'll move on. Um, I think I have a better way of doing this, too. No, because she really likes it on the purple paper. It's so pretty on the purple because you can see it really well. Uh, anything that we're doing, whether it's Made at Con or whether it's a cruise or whether it's any type of event, you can find uh, info on our website. Um, I think it's under events on our website. Um, no one said show them, so maybe you are fine. Yes, somebody said yes. Okay, I'll show you real quick. All right, I'm going to, here's what I did. I'm going to take this paper over here and get it ready. So I inked up this. Well, the snow product's called S Snow Rider. Mm -hmm. So I want to show you something different. So I, this is a piece of scrap paper from that I cut away a while ago. All right, so I'm going to ink up my tree. And you don't have to be super, super like, perfect with your inking because we're going to kind of demolish it. We're going to demolish the inking. Okay. Then I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm going to slide it down the tree, like on its side. You'll see what's picking up the ink is the side of the paper. I'm just sliding it down the tree because I felt like that kind of gave it um, kind of a wood look. Um, and you can do it as much as you want. You can take off as much ink as you want. You can leave as much as you want. You can do it with the side of the paper like that. My hand's probably all up in the way. I'm just sliding it down like this. Press and slide, press and slide. I'm probably doing way too much, but then when you stamp it, you get kind of this rustic tree. Would be really cool for Halloween if you did it in black. I don't do Halloween, but if somebody, I know a lot of you guys do. But see if you did that in like Halloween. Isn't that cool looking? That even looks like a knot in the tree. It's really cool. So there you go. That's just a few ways. We didn't even stamp the bench, but that's pretty that's pretty easy to, to know how to do the bench. But So there's that set. I just wanted to make sure you guys knew how to use it when you got it. All right, so, so they the like the idea of the... Because here's the thing. I think what needs to be done is I need to do a series of videos that are beginner stamping. Um, what's the title for that? Beginner stamping supplies, beginner embossing supplies, beginner heat embossing supplies, you know, I need to do that kind of thing. Um, and what I think I'll do is I'm going to do them like in, if I were just starting and didn't want to invest too much, here's what I get. But, but if you had enough to invest and get all of this, and if you had enough to invest to get all this, that's how I'm going to do it. So anyway, that's, I hope that'll be up Saturday. That's my plan for Saturday's video. I'm glad y'all approved of it because like I said, so many people are asking me lately. Now, Oka said you could take the pokey tool and draw a heart in the bark. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is why I love doing these with everybody watching. I'm going to do it. You know, you could probably take a heart from another stamp set and kiss it. Y'all know how you do that too? Y'all know kiss stamping? Would that fit in the mini Misty? Yes, it will. Um, could I find a heart quick enough? No, we're going to do what she said. Where's my pokey tool? We're going to come right here. Gonna draw a little heart. Uh. I can't talk and draw. And we're gonna put That's me on Vinny's Vittles. I can't stir and talk. And <laughs> A. Let's see what that looks like. That's gonna be cute. <laughs> oh, I didn't press hard enough again. Look at that. That's cute. Look, all the ink is still on my block. <laughs> I say I'm pressing, but what I normally do, let me show y'all something. Here's how you should stamp. You should be over your work surface. I'm going to pull my mic up. You should be over your work surface, and you should press this down, and you should use the palm of your hand. And that gets all of it. And then you should lift. See how I got it that time? <laughs> you got to put the pressure on it. But me sitting down to the side, and I have a mic in my face, it's hard to do. That's even pretty in second generation. All right, brilliant. We're only a little bit late going to the Crafter After Show. 
Donna said on the cruise, is there a crop time or is it just classes? So much, so much. There is some cropping space and there will be some cropping time. I don't know the details of that, but we do have a room that we're able to use for more than we're actually going to be using it. Um, I tell you what, let's go to Crafter After Show so we can talk about anything we want. And sure. that way this won't be a 20 minute long, a 20 minute long discussion after the video so people can watch it, how to use the stamp set. I like that plan. All right. I'm going to sign out. I may need a second because I'm using a new camera. So I got to switch everything over, but we'll be right back for the Crafter After Show. And um, thank you, Kathy. Don't forget to like this Tamara video. Has already posted the link there. There's your link to the After Show and we will be there in just a moment. So we love you guys. We'll see you in a few minutes. Bye.